Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making our Razzleberry Crisp. It's a very easy recipe to make and we're gonna show you just how simple it is all while having a whole lot of fun. Hi y'all, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. And today we are cooking up our Battle Crisp Battle Winner. And that would be Razzleberry. This is a delicious little dish that Aunt Lou cooked up for the blog and she got it from a gooseberry patch book. You know, it's April, the flowers are starting to bloom, the mushrooms are coming out of the ground, the birds are flying around. So we think about Christmas. <laughs> this comes from the Slow Cooker Christmas Favorites cookbook from Gooseberry Patch. We love ourselves some Vicky and Joanne. You don't think that we love Vicky and Joanne? Have you not seen our cute little music video that we do? My wife would like to tell you that she is a GP fan. She always finds that recipe she knows will please her man. She falls in love with each addition Gooseberry Patch makes. She loves to use their recipes for goodness gracious sake. She's got books that have 101 ways to feed a crowd And books that have the dishes that make moms and grandmas proud She's got the books on everything from breakfast, lunch to dinner And books for every season, be it summer, fall or winter She's got little books and great big books, yes, books of every size She's got so many GP books, she can't believe her eyes Oh, Vicki and Joanne, I also send my thanks right to you because of y'all, you got my belly singing. And so that's why we love Vicky and Joanne. <laughs> but uh, this comes from the Sweet Endings. My nickname, Sweet End. Uh, this comes from the Sweet Endings section of the cookbook. And this is Razzleberry Crisp. And it was submitted by a lady by the name of Kay... And if I butcher this, K, and if you're a member of our Crock Posse, I apologize. Please stick around and correct me if you want to. Marone from Des Moines, Iowa. And K says that you're going to need the following. 21 ounces of a raspberry pie filling. Oh, wait. You don't like raspberries? Okay. Use peach filling, apple filling, blackberry filling, blueberry filling. You name a pie filling, you can put it in there. Well, there's also the problem that a lot of grocery stores don't carry raspberry pie filling. I didn't know that they actually did carry it, so... Yeah, but if you're looking for it, we have found it most consistently at um, Walmart superstores that have the mm -hmm. groceries. Um, but most of our smaller um, local stores don't have it. Both right. Aunt Lou and I both have had problems finding it. So if you like cherries, use cherries. It's the thing here is what's going to go on top. The thing that makes it the crisp that we're going to get to. And that is one half cup of quick cooking oats, not steel cut oats. This is where you're going to use the quickie stuff. You also want two thirds cup of brown sugar and one teaspoon. Ooh, that's a tablespoon. Oops. She says one teaspoon of brown sugar packed. I'm guessing that's because we were, we were having a debate about this. I even called Aunt Lou. I said, why did you do two-thirds cup of brown sugar and then another teaspoon of brown sugar? And she said, I don't know, because that's what the cookbook said. So I went to the cookbook, and, well, that's what Kay said. So, Kay, I'm guessing this is because you wanted it to be a little sweeter. And I messed up already. <laughs> you made it a lot And sweeter. put a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon because I mistook the little tea for the big tea. <laughs> I've even taught you people this and I messed it up. It's okay. I'm going to make it sweeter. I don't care. I'm going to eat it. And then you also want one half cup of all-purpose flour and then one third cup of butter that has been softened. I'm going to toss this in the microwave for about uh, three seconds just to kind of soften it up real quick. And while you're doing that, um, People are probably going to wonder, like, we usually make a lot of our crisps with old-fashioned oats, and you can do that if you want. It's just not, the crisp is going to have a more defined oat piece to it. Yes. Kind of thing. So. First thing I'm going to do. I'm going to explain why your hands are all stained. So oh, people yeah. Can. You're going to see this in this camera. You, hopefully you can't see it up there, but I even did a quickie with this. No, I was not working on a car. <laughs> I built my wife a desktop over the weekend, 
and I stained it. And you. And me. <laughs> and our daughter. And our daughter. <laughs> and our driveway. <laughs> and our driveway. <sighs> I was staining this desk outside, this beautiful desk. Hopefully I can show you a picture right here of the desk. And, well, let's just say that it was windy, and I picked the desktop up, and I was staining it without gloves. So it's all over me now. And it's all over the desk, which was fine. And then the wind picked up, and it blew the desk like a sail, and it knocked off the can of stain, and it fell. And it went straight over and straight down and made the weirdest thud on this board, and then it just shot everywhere. It even got on our lights. It, I used a light, and it got on one of our lights outside because it was starting to get dark. It got all over my child. <laughs> It got all over the driveway, <laughs> all over our feet. It looks like we're a couple grease monkeys. <laughs> I promise you my hands are clean. They've thoroughly been washed. They're just a little darkened. So <laughs> They're stained. Uh, they're stained, like the desk. I think the desk looks a little prettier than I do, <laughs> but uh, you can tell us what you think about that desktop in the comments down below. Now, what you do is take one can of your pie filling, and what you're supposed to do, and I did not, and I'm going to get yelled at for this, I bet, <laughs> is you're supposed to spray down your slow cooker with cooking spray. Or you could take a pat of butter and butter it, or you could, or they could take use some those olive silicone. oil. I know some of them bought those silicone liners. Yes, or you could recipe. use your silicone liner so that you don't need to do any spray. I got sidetracked to tell you a story and totally forgot. <laughs> So I will have to clean that up later. And nobody believes this. <laughs> but I'll still say it. <laughs> One of our crock posse said that we should sell shirts that say, I'll clean that up later. Uh, yes. I yes. agree. Would you buy a shirt that said, I'll clean that up later? <laughs> With my pretty face on it? <laughs> All right. So that's it with that. Throw the can away. Oh, sorry. And then we go to the next spot. I've already checked. This will fit in here without touching the pie filling. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't look like you had checked. I had to double check myself. <laughs> Oats in a bowl. Brown sugar in a bowl. A lot of brown sugar. Flour in a bowl. Wait. <laughs> Take this and stir it up just to get everything combined. That's going to get your flour. Now, they don't need to put their bowl inside their crock pot. I'm doing this for demonstrative purposes. What? I'm doing this so that you can see it right here. Right? See it right there? See it under my dirty nails? Just like that. And then when that's all mixed up, pretty good. I will not do this in my slow cooker. The next part because I'm putting glass on ceramic and it's making an eerie sound and if I keep doing it my wife's going to make an eerie sound that sounds a lot like stop it stop it oh I don't say stuff like that do I no you just throw things at me I'll take this back out never touch the filling cool now what I want to do is I'm going to take my butter and I want to put it in there hello this is my friend his name is Pat and put it down in there and if you've got one of those handy dandy pie butter cutter th things you know what I'm talking about the where you mush it down and it cuts up the, it's a butter cutter or, it, or a pie cutter or you can even take a tater masher I want to take or what? you could take the uh, mix and chop stuff oh look at him mind blown I didn't even think of that We've even got one. We have the original mix and chop. We're going to do that right now. I wonder if Sir Mix a Lot has one of these. Oh my goodness. This is going to take a moment. I'm probably going to have to speed up the tape. I'll start right now. That's 
what we don't like about the original mix and chop. Things get stuck. Yep. You should so, use the zing. I would, but it's in the washer. No, it's not. It's right over there. I hate it when you're always right. <laughs> okay, so this is working kind of pretty well. A lot better than the other one. But sometimes... You just want to get your hands dirty. It's best to use what the good Lord gave you. <laughs> Pardon the Irish accent. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube of this Facts channel. Y'all ever... Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's a bunch of Irish people. And it could be anything from they watch American TV shows and you're just looking for their reaction. That's pretty much what the show is. And, uh, or they'll, they'll taste test American foods. But they're Irish. And I've got a thing for the Irish accent. I don't know why. I, I could just listen to an Irishman or an Irish woman talk all day. And just absolutely love that channel. Check them out. Facts channel people, if anybody's watching. Hi. But all I wanted to do here after that long drawn out episode of me cutting butter is I wanted to incorporate the butter and get it pretty much all coated into the other ingredients. It's also going to help to mix up those other ingredients too even better. Everything's all even. Everything's coated in butter. And when you get done it looks like this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. A little bit of work goes a long, long way. And then this is the hardest thing you'll do, other than to resist the temptation of eating it right when it comes out because it's going to be super hot. And that is to crumble it right on top of your filling. Get it all covered up. And then when it comes out, a lot of that pie filling will be bubbling over the sides. Just like that. Make sure everything's all covered up nice and fine, just like that. You go boop, boop, ta-da. And put a lid on it. And when you get done, it's going to look... Well, yeah, let's wash my hands. Oh, look at you, look at you. Ah! <laughs> I started to reach for him, I remember. I almost went... Let's watch Mikey in his natural habitat while he go for the paper towels. <laughs> when you get done, <laughs> it's going to look like that. See that spot over there? That's because I taped it for a quickie. But it's going to look... I'll even take the spot out where I dug it out. Yeah. You can see it's all kind of browned up. That butter got hot in there and it started browning up all them oats and that flour and brown sugar mixture. Let me give you just a little bit more. Look at that. Now, she, uh, Kay says in her recipe that if you wanted to, you could take some heavy cream and drizzle over it or maybe some whipped cream. My wife said, hey, we've got some whipped cream, so I was hoping that she'd have brought it out. And she forgot to, so I'm gonna have to suffer through this oh, and eat this plain. Oh, we sorry for you. But you could, you could drizzle this with heavy cream. You could put whipped cream on it. You could put ice cream on it. Or you could do what I'm doing and just eat it like this. Ooh. Is that hot? A little bit. <laughs> you remember when I said, <laughs> you're gonna have to resist that temptation? Listen to you what I say. a big bite. I know. <laughs> I burnt my whole mouth. <laughs> Don't mistake this face for unhappiness. This is really good. I want to do that like again. You're about to cry. Because I burnt my mouth. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> I don't know that we believe you. You know, the thing about that is we used two-thirds cup 
No brown sugar. Uh-huh. Kay said to use another teaspoon with it. I can't read. <laughs> and I put a tablespoon on it. Uh-huh. And it's still not super, super sweet. But it is sweet. Mm -hmm. But you mix that sweet with that buttery flavor on top of those oats that get crispy and in a, in a slow cooker. Not even in an oven, not even with a dry heat, but that heat sits there on top. Steam rises off of it, but that heat on the side of your slow cooker is gonna make that all get crispy. Got a little bit of a crunch to it. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. It doesn't have to be with raspberries. Mm -hmm. You could do this with peaches. You could mix peach and raspberry. You could do strawberry. You could do apple. Like I said, apple. You could do cherry. Whatever kind of pie filling you want to put in there, you could do that and that crisp will set over the top of it. And that is absolutely fantastic. That is super good. Okay. And easy. Super easy. And you're actually going to take it into the guys today. Minus that one part. Well, you're going to take the new one so it can cook up while you're there. I'll take both of them in. Okay. I'll have one ready to go and one cooking up for later. There you go. All right. Look at you. Coworkers, are you ready? We want to thank y'all for watching another edition here of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. If you like what you saw, give us a like on the video. If you're not a member of our Crock Posse, click subscribe. Right here, down somewhere around here, is a little red button that says subscribe. Do it! Do it now! Become a member of our little club. And also, um, leave us a comment down below. What kind of pie filling would you put underneath this crisp? Let me know. Maybe we'll try it. Ooh. Ooh. Strawberry rhubarb. My wife just made a face. She's not a fan of rhubarb. I, I am. I know. I like rhubarb. I don't like cooked strawberries as well. Oh. It's okay. See, it's it's okay to not like things. Yes. It really is. Just like me. Oh. And like this video. Click it to show it. Thank y'all for watching. And if y'all keep watching, we'll keep cooking. And all will be well. Bye. Ooh, I forgot to blow on a gun. Bring it down. No, it's not. It's fine. I can see it right here. Listen, Linda. Oh, that's bright. It's a super simple recipe. Recipe or recipe. It's a super simple recipe. We're going to make for you very soon. And you're going to enjoy it. You're going to like it. It's going to be. Shut up, cat. Aw, poor skinny. He said, stop it. You're freaking me out. <laughs>